Welcome back, Canonites, for what I consider to be a pretty important topic of discussion, at least as far as Halo is concerned, one that has had quite the impact in recent months. With the release of Halo Wars 2 came a ton of new information, much of that related to the setting and events of Halo Wars 2, but some revealing details never before known about certain characters, notably Red Team. From Alice130's Phoenix Log, Alice's body initially rejected the augmentation process, and she had to be retrained separately, where she met similar washouts, Douglas 042 and Jerome 092, her future partners in Red Team. Many people, myself included, were shocked by this revelation. Many of us ingrained in the lore community had known for a while that Halsey had plans to help the Spartan 2 washouts, with hints at at least one group of Spartans perhaps being an example. However, this is the first we'd heard of washouts being fully cured, re-augmented, and deployed. So, what does this all mean, and how is it possible? Today, we'll answer those questions, along with speculating about the identity of other potential washouts. Let's dive in. So, as you might know, on March 9th, 2525, the Spartan Twos, having been trained physically and mentally for the previous eight years, underwent augmentation. This series of dangerous procedures would result in 33 successfully augmented Spartans. However, the other 42 would be labeled as washouts, or augmentation washouts, as Halsey notes in her journal. 12 were permanently crippled, the other 30 killed, their bodies rejecting the augmentations. Officially, these 30 were given closed casket funerals. In truth, however, the funeral service was simply to allow the survivors some closure. As we learn in Halsey's journal, those quote-unquote killed were put in cryo in hopes that they could be successfully resuscitated, possibly even augmented and deployed as proper Spartans. From Halsey's journal, dated April 1st, 2525. I've ordered that no candidate autopsies be performed. Non-invasive scan and blood tests are permissible. Brief funeral services, closed casket, serve to help surviving Spartans attain psychological closure. Bodies of augmentation washouts are cryogenically preserved pending further study. Perhaps one day, we'll discover ways to ameliorate or reverse lethal side effects and revive some, if not all, of them. And from later on in the same entry, I've assigned Deja to investigate as yet theoretical therapies that may resuscitate these washouts as fully functioning Spartans. Of the 30 considered killed, Saren Osman, formerly Saren 019, is the only one known to have been rehabilitated. We know this because in Halo Glasslands, when Naomi meets Saren, this is her reaction. Saren. Saren 019. Remember me now? We thought you died, Naomi said. At some point, Saren was taken in by Oni, cured of the augmentation side effects, given a new surname, and started on a career path with an Oni basically groomed to lead it by Margaret Perigoski. Beyond that, until recently, we didn't really have any knowledge of any other augmentation washouts being cured, be they reportedly killed or those simply crippled. However, as Halsey notes in that same April 1st entry, I've assigned Deja to investigate as yet theoretical therapies that may resuscitate those washouts as fully functioning Spartans. One protocol already looks promising, the complete bone restructuring and attendant nanographs to effectively replace the skeletal system in toto. This may prove especially useful for Renee or Kirk. And by June 27, 2552, planning is underway for experimental surgeries, therapies, and rehabilitations for more than 80% of the augmentation washouts. Several of these protocols may take years to complete. AIs predict a survival rate of no greater than 50%, but I suspect that the Spartans' will to serve, to live again, will radically boost that percentage. For mere months after the augmentations, that's impressive to say the least. So, at some point not long after the initial augmentation attempt, a few of the augmentation washouts, perhaps some who were crippled, perhaps some who were reportedly killed, were cured, retrained, properly augmented, and deployed as Spartans. Among these were Jerome 092, Douglas 042 and Alice 130. And based on subtle hints within Halsey's journal and the fact that Halsey would certainly continue to try and save the children she'd crippled, we can assume with some certainty that more washouts were cured and deployed. As a quick side note, I'd love to think that the second route of augmentations, or at least the very early stuff, were directly related to the chemical augmentations given to the Spartan 3s, like something in between the invasive procedures originally used and the chemical injections used later. And as time went on, I can actually see them using those exact same chemical injections. But anyway, it's at this point that we get into the real theory slash speculation territory. Today, I'd like to speculate about two Spartan teams that I believe to be former washouts and present evidence, limited as it may be, as to why I believe this. First up is Black Team. Ever since their appearance in Halo Evolutions in 2009, but even more so with the release of Halo Bloodline the year after, the existence of Black Team has baffled people. 
Some initially thought that they were confirmation of a second class of Spartan 2s, but the author of the comic shot this down in an interview with Halopedia. I'll leave a link to that in the description box. With Halsey's journal though, again the April 1st entry, I believe that we get a hint at Black Team's origins. One thing is certain, Oni would find a use for them. If this doesn't make sense, allow me to explain. More so than any other Spartan 2 individual or team, Black Team works directly with Oni. Most Spartan 2s have worked with Oni quite a bit during their career, but they are officially part of Naval Special Warfare Command, or Nav Spec War. Black Team works directly under Oni. Couple that with the extended quote, How would surviving Spartans react to their comrade's resurrection? I certainly can't predict. One thing is certain, Oni would find a use for them. Halsey worried about how the surviving Spartans would react to seeing their fallen comrades once again, a valid concern to be sure. With this full quote, I believe that resurrected Spartans, including Black Team, were kept a secret from most other Spartan 2s, so as not to distract those survivors. Halsey, in Halo The Fall of Reach and her personal journal, warns about the dangers of lying to the Spartans. Exposing that those they thought dead for years were now alive again could present a risk of some degree. In addition, as far as we know, Black Team wasn't recalled for Operation Red Flag, though we do know that they saw action around the time the Epsilon Eridani system was being invaded. We know this because Black Team was sent to the former human colony of Verge to destroy a mining operation providing energy to ships blockading Tribute, Tribute being in the Epsilon Eridani system. This is detailed in the Halo Evolution short story, Blunt Instruments. Of course, the big issue with a lot of this is that in Halo Escalation, the Chief clearly knows about Black Team, and it's safe to bet that Blue Team knew about them too. So honestly, I'm just not sure what's going on here. But I want to speculate on more than just Black Team. With the recent info revealed about Omega Team from Halo Wars, I believe they too may have been washouts. As revealed in the Phoenix Logs, Omega Team was an established team that would be deployed to human colonies under Covenant attack. Further, they worked very closely with Red Team, which we know to be repaired washouts. So why do I think they too were washouts? Again, I referenced the previous quote about surviving Spartans reacting to seeing their comrades revived. In addition, Omega seems to be a permanent Spartan team, much like Black, Grey, or even Red. Among the 33 survivors, with the exception of Grey Team, there were no permanent teams. Each mission would call for a certain number of Spartan 2s, and as the mission needed, the Spartans would split into teams. The main team would be Blue Team, any secondary team would be Red Team, and any tertiary team would be Green Team. For example, during the Battle of Sigma Octanus IV, 12 Spartans were deployed to the planet and split into three teams, Blue led by John, Red led by Joshua 029, and Green led by Linda 058. During the Fall of Reach, Blue Team was comprised of John 117, James 005, and Linda 058, while Red Team was comprised of 22 Spartan 2s and led by Fred 104. Omega, on the other hand, seems to have had a consistent roster, had an odd naming convention to say the least, and as stated, worked closely with Jerome's Red Team, which was comprised of former washouts. This evidence, what little there is, is circumstantial at best, but it's the best way to make teams like Omega and Black fit into the lore, at least in my opinion. And that wraps up this video. I hope this explained clearly how Red Team were once washouts and what exactly a washout is. What did you think? What do you think of the idea of washouts being cured and fielded? And what do you think about Black and Omega teams potentially being former washouts? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, this has been Halo Cannon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you, profusely thank you.